band director said, can you pat your foot and clap your hands? And uh, I finally got it. <laughs> and so I started playing in school band and uh, played through junior high school and took a few, uh, like a couple of years of drum lessons like reading and uh, you know rudiments and all that sort of thing. And then played in the high school band and uh, uh, the tech band till uh, I think I went to tech for 14 whole weeks and played the band the whole time. <laughs> but uh, what's what's tech? <clears throat> Texas Tech University it was college at the time, but it's in Lubbock, Texas. I played in that band, and then. Uh, well, just go back to your drum teacher. Who, like, what uh, what kind of drum teacher did you study drums with? A fellow named Paul uh, Paul Levitt was his name. He was the band director at uh, JT. No, at. Uh, R. W. Matthews Junior High in Lubbock, and uh, he was real good. He had studied at Columbia, and I mean, he was just a real good uh, drummer in general, and just a good musician. He could play all kinds of different. A good band director, and uh, I mean, it wasn't. I didn't take lessons as far as a, a drum kid. It was just like on the snare drum, practice pad, and do rudiments and practice this, practice that, and read this. And, uh, and the school band had uh, like band contests where you'd play Glenwood Boy or. Downfall of Paris, or one of those uh, rudiment kind of drum solos, and uh, I I was sort of into that that kind of drumming. I don't think I ever did very good in the contest, but <laughs> I learned the. But that's your foundation. That's yeah, the basics of, of drumming. That's a great way to play. And I enjoyed playing them.